You know it's a strict schedule around here. What's up socials? Happy Savvy Tuesday. One of the wonderfully popular videos that I've posted in my time here on the channel is about how I schedule my Twitter activity when, you know, you just can't be around the computer all the time. On Savvy Sexy Social, we have a very frequent posting schedule, lots of tweets, lots of resources, and that's really the main purpose of that Twitter account, which is why I actually have two, one for me personally and one for the blog specifically. It's nice to have that place where people can know they're gonna get great videos from me, they're gonna get the podcast from me, but they're also gonna get tons of other resources because I don't have to recreate the wheel. There's tons of people creating really great information about business, marketing, lifestyle, style and social media. So I'm gonna show you what the routine is for myself and actually my virtual assistant as well. I have a social media manager that helps me populate the account for us to make it as wonderfully full of resources as possible as well as peppered in with some of my content. Let's go over to the computer, shall we? Hello and welcome to the Vlogboss Studios Buffer account. This is where I schedule all the tweets for my different Twitter accounts and also some of my clients. So, that's what you're seeing here. This is the Savvy Sexy Social Buffer. We've got some buffer uh, tweets ready to go and they're gonna be tweeted at the times that are predetermined. And speaking of that, that's one of the first things that you'll do when you start a Buffer account is you'll create a schedule for each of your accounts. This is the schedule for Savvy Sexy Social. Pretty much the same every single day, actually exactly the same every single day. These are all the different times that tweets are going to go out no matter what they are. They're predetermined and I don't have to think about a date and a time every single time I wanna send a tweet. So what's nice is whenever you have something you want to talk about, you just throw it in the buffer and it goes to the next time. So how do I fill this? Let me show you. I like to come over here to Feedly. I subscribe to a lot of stuff here. And it's easy for me to just stay tuned to the stuff I'm already interested in and share the stuff that is interesting to me and my audience. So I'll look through the news and look for things that are interesting to me. There's a lot of tech news about Apple recently. Um, so let's talk about this. There's definitely some interesting developments for Apple. So I'm good. maybe I want to share this keynote video if you didn't watch it live. And what's really great about Feedly specifically is that all of these buttons are available already. They've teamed up with all of these platforms and make it really easy to share content. So buffers in here, I'll click the buffer button and it's already got my account locked in there. And then I pick the social account I want this video to go to and I will click on that account. And then the tweet's already in there and I'm just gonna give credit to who wrote the article, which I believe was Mac Rumors. And then I'm going to hashtag it Apple. Um, and yeah, that's good enough. I will just probably hashtag video and we will just add it to the buffer. So you have a, diff a couple different options here. Usually you'll just send it to the buffer, but it might be something you just wanna share right now, but you would still send it from here because you can still track those analytics in buffer. So that's really useful. And then here is if you wanted to pick a custom time, which is really interesting and not something that I do for other people's content, but we can talk about that later. So I, for, for sharing other people's content, I will just hit the buffer button and there it is. It's ready to go. It's going to go out at 9 p.m. tomorrow because that's the next slot in the buffer that we need to go out. So it's really, really useful. So I will just keep doing that and make sure I stay ahead of the game and share the most interesting content. I actually have a, a, a virtual assistant that helps me make sure that I stay on top of that buffer so that we have interesting content and she knows how I like all my tweets laid out and make sure we credit all the proper people. And then we have these different slots and I will save those usually for just the other people's content. But then when I have my own content, I kind of want to pepper that in as well. So let's make sure that this article with James Ryan is being shared frequently. Well, this is where a handy little button from Buffer will be really, really nice for you. This is the Buffer Google Chrome extension. Every different browser will have its different options for these different add-ons that enhance the browser experience for you. This makes it possible for me to be able to share anything I want to Buffer from anywhere on the internet, which is fantastic. So here we're sharing my own content. I'll click on the account that I want it to go to, and I'm gonna type a little something to make sure people have listened to it. Have you heard my interview with James Ryan yet. 
And so we will just maybe add a little identifier here if we want and hashtag big brother because he was on big brother hashtag vegas because he's a big vegas guy just whatever activity you want and then for this i will usually choose a custom time i know that all of my individual buffer items that i've already predetermined are on weird times so i'll usually pick an even time at like 1 p.m 1 p.m flat and set and schedule that Oh, I didn't schedule it for the future. Oh, the future is tomorrow. Set, schedule. And then what that will do, when you refresh your buffer here, is it will be in there for one o'clock. And I like doing that because then I can see in this bold that that's not a buffer slot, that's a specifically scheduled time. That's a time I want to be sharing my own content, a popular time for me on Twitter. And I can actually see because it's bold that I made sure that I have enough of my own tweets going out. So it's a nice little identifier too. And that is how I schedule activity on Twitter. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe to this channel on YouTube. I make a new video every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I hope you'll be back for the next. There's also a podcast this week, as there is every Friday. The Marketing Lifestyle Show is on iTunes and Stitcher, so I hope to see you guys over there. And if you don't want to miss anything, if that's just too much info for you, make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat. It's in the annotation below, and you'll get my e-newsletter with a free Twitter guide and tons of other info. So I will see you tomorrow for Sexy Wednesday.